well, the kids are different. And when I start, first started here, we really didn't have as many kids that were um, were participating in all the programs, I guess. Mm -hmm. So almost all of these high schoolers are all in either band or show choir or a, a choir, you know, and theater. And they're really spread thin. I mean, not that our kids didn't do other things back, you know, then, but they weren't spread as thin. And and uh, it's been it's been a rough fall for these kids. Like they've been so so busy. So there's been like a lot of overlap, and they they they've been a little stressed and stretched really thin. But they've been troopers. They've been great.
So is, is there any connection between this being, you know, your last year? Definitely, and, yeah. Tell me about that. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I knew that I wanted to do something different this year and I asked Mr. Alexander about it. And um, I said, you know, is it possible we can do this? He goes, yeah, we can do it. We could just do both plays because we usually do two plays in the winter. Mm -hmm. And um, but we're not this year because we're doing a spring musical. And so we're like, yeah, let's just do both plays. We'll do the one you want to do. And I'm like, yes. I was really happy about it because I just, I love this place so much. Awesome <laughs> story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I bet you're going to, I'm thinking you'll probably come back and see some plays, a few, after you retire. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, because I'll know so many kids mm -hmm. and I'll want to see their their progress and, you know, and touch base with yeah. them. So. Do you have any students that um, participated in the production when they were in elementary school and are now your high school students? Um, yeah. Uh, Claire um, Gardner, she was in Christmas Carol when she was really little. Um, and then, like I said, my nephew, Nolan, and my niece, Reagan, okay. um, they've done Christmas Carol for, oh gosh, Rylan was in maybe second grade when he started, and he's a freshman now, so, yeah. Yeah, so the young lady you uh, mentioned the first time that she's in a Chris best Christmas pageant ever? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, she wasn't in Christmas Carol. I mean, she, she's not in Christmas Carol. Right, right. So, but yeah. she started really young. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is there any way I could talk to her at some point? Yeah, of course. She, she can just call. Here today. I, I don't see her. Or she can just, here. Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Or she can call me, whatever. Um, so I guess, uh, what is it like seeing students like that grow up? <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah. It's, ab it's absolutely awesome um, seeing them progress and seeing them grow up and then watching their, you know, performances when they're little to, to when they're older and, and what they learn from it. And just, uh, yeah, it's just, it's really cool. I love it. <laughs> so why should people come to the show? Oh, because they'll be... They'll be entertained because they'll laugh. <laughs> they'll laugh a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit silly, but it's it's definitely it'll really get their holiday spirits up. I mean, without a doubt, especially the music too. There's some traditional Christmas music in it, so we have some choir students that are in it also. And did you have any assistance from the music department for that? Yes, um, actually, Bobby Jacobs, um, who is the, the orchestra teacher, um, also helps his dad with band. He um, directed the, the kids and helped them on Tuesdays. They did a short choir session and learned the songs. Nice. So, yeah. Awesome. Lots of collaboration. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Between buildings, yep. between. Yeah, I love Oops. it. Yeah. So, well, anything um, else you want to say? Um, no, I'm just really, really excited for it. And I can't wait for people to see it. So, yeah, I think it'll definitely warm their hearts. <laughs> it's going to be good. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah.